Hi there, and welcome to another video of Made with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be giving you the first part of an ongoing tutorial series which will show you how to start from the very basics and then create an entire set with cables in Ableton. And Ableton will drive your live visuals. And there's a lot of tricks we can do, but we're just gonna try and keep it simple. So the first thing we gotta do is make sure that Ableton can talk to cables and cables can receive its signals. So if you're on Macintosh, you need to just make sure you have IAC MIDI drivers set up. Just Google that. It's really easy. With Windows, you want to go here to Loop MIDI and you want to download this amazing program from Tobias Ericsson. I hope I said that right, Tobias, and get that installed. Now, what that does is that gives you a virtual MIDI port. And what that means is you then have a virtual MIDI port on your computer, which will allow your applications to talk to each other. So in this case, we want to get the MIDI clock signal from Ableton later on the MIDI notes and the MIDI CC. But we're going to keep it nice and easy today. It's a bit of a hello world and let's just get it started. So first of all, go into live, click on options, preferences, click on the MIDI section and make sure that with your output, track, sync and remote are all on. This then means that those are getting sent out to the loop MIDI port on Mac IAC MIDI driver. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play. And we can see here with this little flashing icon that Ableton Live is sending out MIDI clock. So now we just need to set up cables. Let's close this. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type in MIDI input device. Connect to MIDI device output port. Press enter. Okay. Now we have a couple of outputs here. Event, note, CC, NRPM, and clock. We're interested in clock right now. It's the easiest thing to get started. So I drag out and then I type in MIDI clock. Okay, so now we're going to get MIDI clock signals. Now we're not getting anything yet because we need to go to the MIDI input device and we need to select the device. So now I'm going to click loop MIDI port. And as you can now see, I'm getting clock data. I click this up, scroll down a bit. And as you can see, we've got the BPM here. I'm going to change it in live to say 58. This will change accordingly. So let me just put it back to 121. We get the tick duration and the sub tick. So um, I'm going to go more into using this um, later on, but I just this is like a hello world. I just want to show you how to get it started. So I just want to show you a cool new feature with this new version of the MIDI clock op. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to grab a sweet sequence op. So here we've got one bar, half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth. So now I'm just going to pull these out and I just want to show you basically what this does. Nice and easy. So as you can see, this is a really quick and easy way now just to get some triggers. So let's now unplug all of these. So I'm going to go over here. And now I have triggers out for ticks out, clock start, and clock stop. So I'm going to put this in clock start. And I'm going to put this in clock stop. So if I now press stop with live, we get a trigger. Press play, we get a trigger. This is really handy when you want to initialize the state of your entire cable set, like to a lot of default values when it starts and to something else when it stops. Okay, this is the basic introduction on how to set up Ableton Live with cables so that they're talking with each other and getting the MIDI clock up working. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.